Hello everybody and welcome to Learning with Chrono. Today we will be going over the Teams section of the scoreboard command, allowing things like color, friendly fire, friendly invisibles, that kind of thing, on any vanilla Minecraft server. With me today I have two special guests, Westwoods01 right. and Space Gator. How do you do? They are two community craft members from Down Under, and they have decided to help me out today on this tutorial. To begin, we need to add our teams, and we do that by typing into our little command window here, or the little chat box, forward slash scoreboard teams add, and then our team name. Let's do something simple like blue. And what this does is we are calling the scoreboard command with the subset of commands under teams. And then we want to add the blue team, obviously. And we hit enter and we've added our team blue successfully. And we can see that by typing in forward slash scoreboard teams list. And this will list all of the teams in the scoreboard. And we can see we have one team that has zero players right now. So how do we add players? Well, we type in t forward slash scoreboard teams again. Join to distinguish it from the add command. And then the team name, in this case, it would be blue. And then the player name that we want to join to team blue. How about uh, Westwoods01? And now we have West as a member of Team Blue. Now we can add as many people as we want to any teams, and we can also add pretty much as many teams as we want. Now that we have a team set up, what can we do with it? Well, there's a few things that we can do with it. One, we can set the color of our names to distinguish what teams we are on. We can set friendly fire on or off, or we can see our the invisible members of our team. Now we'll start with our color. Basically what we type in is we go into our command window again and we once again type in scoreboard teams to let us know that we're working in the teams commands again. Option to let us know, let the server know that we want an option of said command. And we type in our team name which in this case is blue and the option itself, which would be color in the American spelling of it. And then what color we want? Well, we're team blue, so let's use blue. And now our teams are blue. And we can see that West here has a blue name over his head. So say you're on an adventure map. Friendly fire would be a bad thing in that situation. Now to turn off friendly fire for your team, all you do is you type in scoreboard teams, again, option, and then the team name, which is blue in this case, and then the command we want to use, which is friendly fire, and then false to turn off friendly fire. And if we turn that off, if West, you would punch space, we can see that nothing happens. As much as they would want to, nothing happens. <laughs> and space here has a potion of harming. I guess that's worth a try to see if that still works. And the answer to that question is no. However, potions of poisons do. <laughs> The third thing you can do with the options command is to see friendly invisibles. And basically what that means, if somebody is using an invisibility potion, your team and only your team will be able to see it. For example, if space, you can use your invisibility potion there. I can see both of them, which appears to be a default setting in the Minecraft server. 
but I can turn that off by typing in scoreboard teams option blue C friendly invisibles false and now I don't see either of them except for the swirlies but that's the default and pants I see pants the last thing to go over will be the removal of players from the team and the teams themselves. Now, removing players and removing teams are just as easy as adding them. It just has the different words. For example, if we want to remove, say, space from Team Blue, we type in scoreboard teams leave Team Blue and then space gator. And remember, the names are case sensitive. So space has a capital S and a capital G. So it must be capitalized down there. And now space is white again. He's no longer a member of team blue. And there's an easy way to remove all the players from a team. So we type in scoreboard teams empty blue and that will completely empty the blue team so all of us have been removed from team blue and then we just have to remove the team itself and that's score board teams remove blue and now if we look at the list we have no teams left so that's it for today's learning with chrono i hope you all enjo enjoyed and i hope you all learned something if you did give me a thumbs up and if you want something a little bit more let me know in the comments see you guys in the next episode and as always keep playing the game and have fun